Hi, so in this video we're going to talk about converting fractions to decimals. Now this is going to happen quite a lot in uh, GCSE exam papers and throughout a lot of the calculations that you do in maths word problems. There are two videos in this particular series and this particular video is the first one that deals with some fairly straightforward fractions. So let's say we have a fraction which is 1 over 4 or 1 quarter and we want to convert that to a decimal. Okay, well this particular line here could also be rewritten as the division sign. It means exactly the same to write 1 divided by 4 because these two little dots mean that I could put the 1 there and I could put the 4 there. Um, I'm not entirely sure where they came from, but I think they did come from originally calculators being unable to display 1 over 4. I think that it was originally just a very easy way of expressing a fraction as a single line. So 1 divided by 4 means the same as 1 over 4. So we can use that as short division where what we do is we write how many lots of 4 are there in 1. Okay, now we are converting to a decimal, so it's usually common practice to put a couple of zeros after a decimal point in order to give us the uh, space to be able to perform our calculation. And what we say is how many lots of 4 are there in 1? Well, the zero. But what I'm going to do then is take that 4 because it remains and move it over to the next number. Then the next question is how many lots of 4 are there in 10? Well there's 2 because that's 8 and there are 2 left over. So I move my 2 over to the next number. How many lots of 4 are there in 20? Well there's 5 and there's nothing left. So in other words, that 1 over 4 is, as a decimal, 0 0.25. Okay. It is a good idea to learn some of these decimals because then you can use them in a lot of your calculations. Okay, so let's say we had something that was a slightly, slightly more difficult fraction. Let's say we've got... 3 eighths, and we want to calculate that as a decimal. So we can do it in exactly the same way. I'm going to use the principle of division. I'm going to say that 3 over 8 is the same as 3 divided by 8. And what I'm going to do is rewrite that as short division as 8 into 3.000. Okay, so 8 into 3 doesn't go, and I've got 3 left over. 8 into 30, well, you need to know your times tables for these sorts of questions, but I know that 3 times 8 is 24. So 3 times 8 is 24, and because I have 30 here, I have 6 left over. So 8 into 60... Well, again, I know my times tables, there's 7 eighths of 56, so 7 there, and because I've got 60, I've also then got 4 left over. 8 into 40 goes 5. So, in other words, the decimal equivalent of 3 eighths is 0 0.375. So all I'm doing is I'm dividing this number into this number. This number is called the denominator, and this number is called the numerator. But really, all of these are exactly the same thing, that 3 over 8 is the same as 3 divided by 8 is the same as short division, which is asking the question, how many lots of 8 are there in 3? And however you do short division is entirely up to you, but hopefully you should come up with the same answer. Um, there are a couple of videos on short division, and if you want to have a look at those, that will be able to show you how I've performed that particular calculation.